What is up, y'all? I just wanted to make a quick video, or as quick as it can be anyway, about the props that I use, <clears throat> mainly accessories, I guess, from everyday household items to be able to have a better uh, experience in VR chat, primarily test pilots and all things with, uh, with uh, I don't know, uh, I guess, aircraft. And so I got this little deal here. Now, this is clearly a solution to a problem that some people have, but others don't. What I mean by that is that if you have a a joystick or, you know, like what they call them, the HOTAS or any of that stuff, then this is probably a video that's not for you. But if you're just using the... Uh, I don't know what they call these, the wands or controllers or whatever, then that's all you have, right? And so uh, this this does make for a little bit more of an immersive experience, although it isn't the end-all be-all. It still does yield significant results when applied properly. Um, and I got away from people here so we can kind of do a little bit of a demonstration and maybe even some target practice. So what I use is, uh, I use this leg that I took off of a stool that my daughter has and I just inserted here so keep in mind I'm using the HTC Vive and uh, yeah I mean that's pretty much it so I also use it on top of a bench there they go and I kind of just pretty much let it rest I and mean, the weight of the hand takes care of the, the rest keeps it in place every once in a while it does slip on you but because of the padding, it, it does help a lot. Before we do go, I wanted to show y'all something really quick. If y'all can look at the square that's on my head-up display, right next to the throttle, which is that right there, you will see that there is a square composed of four smaller squares. Now what that is, is pretty much your center line, um, your zero on, the values that are provided by the joystick control column yoke whatever the next thing is rudder control if you can see this there's a line that goes from left to right and that's just me manipulating the the rudder on the on the control column or the the yoke having this stick on a solid surface does help facilitate in isolating those movements which sometimes are important because when you have a, just a freestanding uh, <clears throat> controller which is dependent only on the wrist when you're under stress and you're making those those movements those maneuvers while you're being chased or you're trying to hunt down a guy then uh, that that tends to kind of get askewed a little bit in and and it gets muddled right so by having this it definitely takes a lot of it away anything can work but for me what's worked is that it's cylindrical in shape as well as tapered so if it's tapered down the controller doesn't sink past a point where i can't manipulate these grip controllers so let me uh, go ahead and set that up and uh we'll see y'all in the air let's do this we're going to be adding a little bit of throttle and we're going to be using the brake a lot so we can uh, do an unrestricted climb right now. Okay. This plane takes off roughly around 200 miles per hour or 200 knots. Put it back on the, on the stick, get rid of the gear and the flaps and we're good to go. Pop and smoke. Let's find ourselves some bad guys to hunt down. But until we do, we're going to be doing a little bit of some maneuvers. So, so you got yeah, y'all can get an idea of what it is that I do and how I do it. So pay attention on the control as I move and compare to what you see on the screen here. As you can see, we can make some really tight turns and make yourself a little bit of a harder target by doing that. Now for something to vary. 
we want to keep the speed roughly between five and seven hundred miles an hour when you do this, or seven hundred knots rather. What you see there is a trail of smoke. That is us. Turn back around where we came from. Keep an eye on that airspeed and our critical angle of attack, right? Okay, we're losing the smoke for now. And uh, let's gun ourselves some people. That's one. Let's go for it. He knows he's being targeted already. Release some flares. Just for now. Too much airspeed will give you some damage if you make a tar uh, sharp turn, so keep that in mind. Let's go over and below. Easy peasy. If your little prop thing that you have ends up falling apart, don't worry. Get to a safe spot, put it back together up where you left off. Get back in the fight. Got him. We are bingo fuel now, so well, we're close to it, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Take her in for a landing. Get the hooks. Same for the hooks. Got him. All right. Your underscore microwave. I humbly thank you for asking that question or making that concern uh, public. Definitely is a, a good concern to be brought up. If you guys are in the market for getting a hot toss, there's plenty of those around. Uh, but if this can kind of buy you some time to save up for that one that you really want, you know, and not just throw it down on the next thing that you see, this might ease and curb some of that enthusiasm that you have towards any given HOTAS so that you can save the money. Save the money and get yourself something better and then work your prop out of its own job. All right, this is not something to replace. This is something to get you by until you get that badass setup that you're looking for and until then hopefully your game changes a little bit you guys can follow you know subscribe comment like dislike love all that good stuff i would greatly appreciate it definitely helps this channel grow and right now we are in its infancy so we definitely want to do more content but we also want to be incentivized by the viewership so with that said I'll let y'all go and take to the skies, man. Start gunning them people down, so good hunting. Peace.